Good morning, good evening, good day. It's Tracy back from Metal House. How are you all doing? Hope you're doing fabulous. Today we got a nice little Timu haul. Yay! <laughs> so, without further ado, let's just jump straight on in. First item, let's get it, is this Nordic plastic vase. It's sort of Nordic in style. But I really liked it because it was thin. It was skinny. <laughs> so, let's see how skinny it is. I'm hoping it'll fit on my bathroom shelf. So, it's a nice thick plastic. You can't bend it or anything like that. Let's get me ruler out. Let's get started. <laughs> how you doing? You're doing fab. Hope so. Uh, this is oh, it's just over seven inch. It's like seven and a half inches tall. Bar uh, set just just over seven inches wide that way, and the depth of it is just over two and a half inches wide. The little spout is tiny. Inside the little spout, it's about three quarters of an inch. But I'm hoping this will fit on my little skinny bathroom shelf. I don't know. It's going to be close. But we will try that. But I'm liking it. I love the shape of it, etc. I love that. That's a good first one. I want to keep it nearby because I've, <laughs> I've got the plant to go with it. <laughs> Let me put you down here. Okay. <laughs> right. And to go in the pot. You know, I can't remember, but somebody suggested eucalyptus leaves to me. I don't know if it was Terry. It could have been. Sorry, if I if, <laughs> I've forgotten. But somebody suggested getting eucalyptus leaves. And I was looking at some eucalyptus. And even though there was a lot of pretty green ones, I came across these sort of bluish ones. And I thought, oh, I like them. They might take a bit of fluting because they're well flattened. And I'd want the leaves all facing the right way as well. Um, but they easy twist on this. It's got like a wire base stalk. And then these are like plastic and bendable. But I want to get, I don't want to floof it out completely because I want this to sit in that little pot on my skinny shelf. But I think you'd have to make sure you've got all the leaves facing the right way. Let's stick it in the pot. Mm -hmm. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> There's a lot of them. Maybe if I bent them a little bit, let's have a little, let's <laughs> have a little play. Um, uh. <laughs> Gosh. Okay, they do floof quite a bit. No, no, no. I don't want to froth them out of the back, Chase. Don't froth them at the back, girl. Yes, the front. Ah. I want the tall ones out and the skinny ones for the front. And get the short ones for the front tree. Come on, girl. It's only a little fake plant. I'm sure you can manage it. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I might have bent them too much now. Um, let me turn it around. It needs a little bit more floofing, doesn't it? What do you think? <laughs> um, if you take time, I love the colour though. <gasps> what do you think about the colour? I like them. Let's go try them in place. I've put them in place. Let me show you what I've done with them. <laughs> okay. Up there. 
What do you think of those? I kind of like it. it. This pot fit exactly on my little shelf. <laughs> there's my little finger duck. And there's the little jars from the review. But yeah, I like them. I like them a lot. They need a bit of bending so that you don't see as many of the backs of the leaves. But yeah, nice. I like them. Fits perfectly. I can't believe how well <laughs> that vase fits on my little skinny shelf. You know the shelves that you get for um, supporting picture frames? It's like a little picture. That's all that is. And it fits perfectly. It needs a little floofing, but yeah, I'm liking that. Next. <laughs> ah. Now. <laughs> I noticed in my washing machine that under the rubber was starting to get a bit yak. So I went looking for a little skinny, stiff brush and it's really stiff. I thought it might be a bit um, soft and I wouldn't be able to scrub, but this is a totally scrubby one. That's stiff bristles, that one. And it's a little bit curved and it's nice and slim. Look how thin that is. And that's for getting in all the little crevices. I thought it'll get around the rubber of my um, washing machine and maybe even like the little window frames, etc. So I got picked that up while I saw it. So that one's just a useful little thing. Oh, and <laughs> the next one. <laughs> no, I don't really need any of these. But it's Winnie the Pooh, and I couldn't resist. Let's get Slasher to open. Oh, I'm going to put it right away. Look at him. So, he's for my phone case. <laughs> oh, let's try him on. Because <laughs> I've got a black one on at the moment. I do like the black. Oh, I'm not good at getting these on and off, though. Not until I get rid of these false nails. How do you get false nails off anyway? I don't know. It must be something that melts the glue. <laughs> I need to go get them done, really, get them filled. Because look, they're hanging right on the edges now. I don't know how they're staying on my nails. Ooh. Oh, here we go. A little Winnie the Pooh one. Super cute. What does it say? It says, you are braver than you believe, stronger than you seem, and smarter than you think. <gasps> Super good. <laughs> That's probably going to be my last one. I really don't need <laughs> any more phone cases. But, oh, I couldn't resist him. Yeah. That's a keeper. <laughs> keeper, keeper. Next. What's next? Oh. <laughs> I know I'm not supposed to. But I did buy in this haul two new <laughs> My drawer's not quite full yet. Now this one is black and gold, this one. Are the pictures of this sort of moons and butterflies um at first glance you think it's celestial but actually it's kind of just all sorts it's true although i've got the green thing going on today da, 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 da. it's nice and comfy Got a sticky out your bit, Chase. Get your sticky out your bit in. What can say? It's another hair band, Chase. <laughs> I like it. I like it. <laughs> no, 
last one. <laughs> you know, I've been, I've, I've had a few of the knit ones, and I've got a knit one in black, and I think on last month's haul I got a navy blue one. Well, this time I saw like a creamy beige colour, and I thought. I could get that. Um, it's okay. What do you think? It's sort of, it looks like a knitted jumper. It's that type. I'll definitely, definitely wear it. I could put my green one back in because I've not worn this green one before, so I was liking it. Oh. Because it matches my t-shirt. That's why I've got so many. I try and match the t-shirt, etc. <laughs> yeah, I'm liking that. Next. Oh, do you remember I got um, some stickers for my, my bedroom um, drawers, etc. And... I ran out of the stickers to do the drawers and I just got some more stickers. And this is, if I can get it open. This one's well wrapped, Chase. Uh oh. Ooh. <laughs> get it open without crucifying the stickers. Anyway, I've been putting the stickers on, on the units in my bedroom, and um, I'm almost finished. I'll have to show you a quick update of them. I can't get in this packet. <laughs> Let me in. Ugh. Okay, I'm sort of in. Sort of <laughs> Let me show you the stickers. Yeah. They're like mm, almost like a watercolour, sort of a little bit uh, translucent y, but oh, they look good. So, this is another sheet of the stickers that I got last time. Let's go in and I'll show you what I've done to the drawers because I know when we got the stickers, I'd put, I put one on to test it. But well, I've actually got round to putting the others on, except for the one set of drawers hasn't gone. So let's take you through and show you what I've done. <laughs> Mr. Monty. Hello. <laughs> Oh, it's Jack. Hello, Jack. Sorry, Jack. We're going through to have a look at the stickers. Oh, oh bedroom's not too bad. <laughs> well done, Trace. There's the one sticker that we put on down the bottom when I first got it. And the next one. And then, let me sit here. I've got some on there. See, I need another one here. And I've got one, two there. And I want to put another one there. And then I've put the big one, I sort of cut it into two and put it there. I didn't know if I needed another one there. And then on that cabinet over there, I've got those two stickers. And there's another cabinet the other side that hasn't got any stickers on at the moment. And that's why I wanted another packet. But I'm liking them. It just takes that little bit of boringness off of the units. I like. <laughs> so the flower wall decal stickers, I really like those. And they're going on a treat, no problems at all. But I just wanted a second strip so that I can finish off the drawers that I hadn't got around to getting done. Nice. Let's pick another item. Where we got? Oh, 
yeah, something a bit weird, but I do a lot of lattes and you need like a long handled spoon, don't you? Well, I do all for pudding these and I saw these Ooh, I can't get my long handled spoons and seeing as I've had luck with some of the other silverware that I got, I thought I'd try some more. Now there is six in this set. And it's they're just really long handled spoons. It's just for doing like lattes and maybe like some Sundays. I don't really do a lot of the Sundays, it's pretty much all about lattes. <laughs> but there's one, two, three, yes, yeah, six. Is there six or eight? One, two, three, four, five. Actually, there's seven. One, two, three. No, there's not. Four, five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> There's eight long handled spoon in this set. Do you want to know how long handle the long handle is? <laughs> not including spoon head. We're looking at about uh, turn the ruler around the right way, Chase. <laughs> uh six inch it's a six inch handle and there's eight of them in the pack trace but they'd bend if you gave them some shtick but they look fine to me good that's what i wanted handy it's just i saw them around here and you couldn't buy just six long handled Spoons, you had to buy um, like a whole set of cutlery, and I didn't want a whole bloody set. <laughs> just wanted the spoons. What else we got? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Do you remember my um, little wiggly woggly flowers? What's it, the last haul I got on for? <laughs> I'm trying not to make these things take over me. So I got this one, and these are more little flowers. I won't be able to go two nuts. There's not enough room, is there? Okay. Oh, these got cute like little leaves. <laughs> Very cute. Um, there's the leaves. They're like inch and a half tall. So you've got a yellow one, <laughs> a red one, a little powder blue one, and a purple one. Oh, there's a sticker there. Oh, I mean, give me that. Let's come off of the packet. And there's a little powder pink one as well. <gasps> Cute! <laughs> and in the packet, we've got the sticky dots. Okay. Looks like I need to put these in place. Looks like we've got to stick them on. I'll be back. I've took off all the little sticky backs and we've still got five more. And... There they are. That's the ones that I got last time. Them and them. And look, when you wobble the table. <laughs> the little flower heads go doing, doing, doing. But look, I've got a little gap. <laughs> Super cute. <laughs> Silly but cute. Okay. But I do have one more packet of those. So next, like I said... There is five of those stickers in that as well, which is handy. But they're just like little spot stickers anyway, so you can get them anywhere. And then I saw these, and I thought I'd grab these as well. And these are like little animal flowers. See, that one's like a little duck. <laughs> and that one's... A little panda. 
What's this one? It's a bunny rabbit! <laughs> and what's this one? What's oh, another bunny rabbit? Got two bunny rabbits! Where's one a cat? I don't know. What's that one? Oh, it's a froggy! <laughs> Let me stick these up! <laughs> <laughs> I use the same dots from the other packet so I can put that complete strip away. And here they are. There they are, cute. <laughs> they don't wobble as much. Look, just little bits. Those are amazing wobblers. But these look really cute on the dashboard of a car. But look, I've got like a little section in the middle left just for something to go there. <laughs> I might get one more set, but it's a bit tight if they're too big. Silly things, but cute. Me juggling. So now if you see me looking up, you know exactly what I'm looking for now. I'm looking at me little flowers and animals. Okay, a few hauls ago, <laughs> continue. I got some command strips that are Velcro. And there are 24 in here, so it's like... Um, 12 so it's like 12 pairs in here of command strips and I don't say command strips because they're not command strips they are um, hook and loop I keep calling them velcro because that's what we call them in the UK but it's yet yeah, hook and loop and uh, sticky for the wall and I put up um, my backing which I've took down at the moment because I've got uh, more pictures being done in the house so I've got to tidy up a little bit so I, yeah, I put that up, that held fine, and I put my little um, key cabinet, my friend's key cabinet in the hallway, still up. When did we do that? That was over a week ago, wasn't it? A week and a half, two weeks ago, maybe. And yeah, it's still up. And it's only up with two of these. I didn't put four or one on each corner or anything of the key cabinet, just the two. And they're hanging up perfectly. So I thought, hey, while I'm at it, I'm going to get another packet just to stick in the cupboard. <laughs> yeah, unused. But for, keep saying it, but for when I move, <laughs> to hang pictures up with. So I've got another packet of those. And these are size medium. They're really good. Really good, them. Put me in my drawer with the other packet. What's next? Yes, <laughs> it was the one I was waiting for. Let's do this first. This is diamond painting release strips. So it's like a wax paper for, and it's really handy for when you're diamond painting because you can take off the clear translucent plastic cover and then stick these all over it. And then you can take a section off at a time to do diamond painting with. And I found these really handy because I've never done diamond painting before. This was my first go. And there's 20 in here in this one packet. And they are six inch by four inch. So they're six by fours and there's 20 in the packet. Yeah, they worked a treat. And I say worked because the diamond painting... I got done and finished, so I wanted to show you. <laughs> Here it is. What do you think? <laughs> I'd never done it before. I liked it. I don't think I'd want to do anything bigger than this. This was a 30 by 40 customised one that I sent up and got it the picture customized and there's there's loads of pictures on on team Moo's site for diamond painting but there wasn't really any that were grabbing my attention and i do like the sort of this sort of cartoony but i know i wanted it multi-colored so there's my diamond painting got finished <laughs> so now i've got to look for some i assume fixative I think Teresa told were well, Teresa and Jen were telling me about fixative and frame it maybe if I can find a frame in that size. 
But yeah, really enjoyed that. And there are loads left. What are you supposed to do? Look at all these that are left. <laughs> There's quite a lot left. And I thought I won't throw them for now because in case I come across a spot that I've missed by accident. So I'm going to find a box for them at some point. <gasps> Maybe look for storage for diamond painting for next time. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Onwards to the last one. E box. <gasps> now I haven't looked at these at all, so I'm just hoping they're nice. Picture looks good. Now these are supposed to be dandelions and they're solar lights. Okay. I saw things like roses and stuff like that, but I kind of like something a little bit more, um, what do you call it? Some people would say ugly. I'd say minimalistic. <laughs> That's more me. And I'm liking them. <laughs> what do you think of them? So they've got their little. No, I don't. I wonder if they've got any charge in them. Um, have they got on button? There is just a straightforward on off. That one's on, I think. You can't see it, but. Oh, they flash. I did not know they flashed. You can just about see it, can't you? But it goes up the stem as well. And to the flower head. <laughs> and in this kit, there's three of them. Is it, can you change it from flashing or is that it? Can you push it again sort of thing? Oh. No, it's, hold on, that's an on. Yeah, you can have them static. There's a switch off, and I assume in the middle and all the way over to flashing. Oh, we'll have to try them out. There's three of these in the box. No, there's not, there's four in this box. No, yeah, I've got the bigger kit. One, two, three, and four. And the bits that stab them into the floor, into the pots. So very similar to the other lights that I got, the uh, firefly lights. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go put all these in the pot so they get a nice charge up today. And I'll do a little film snippet tonight and show you them at night so you can see what they're like. But I, I really like the looks of these. They look good. Right. We'll try them out <laughs> later. But they're a good size, aren't they? How tall are they? You know, I'm not sure. Where's my ruler? Let's have a quick. Do you want to know how tall they are? Maybe. The front, the pointy bit is like ruler length, so that's twelve inch. And then from the solar to the top is probably fourteen inch. Actual flower greenery flower is twelve inch. And then this one, I know they do, they did a kit of two and a kit of three, and this kit is a kit of four. <sighs> yeah, can't wait to try them out. So we'll try them out later and I'll get a nice little, little vid of them all. <laughs> all the little firefly lights. And look, they're the new lights. Oh, they're very pretty. <laughs> they're very cute what do you think those I like them 
<laughs> I mean, it's not completely dark, look. but it's close. I like them. They're very pretty. Okay, that's it. That's my little haul for this week. Next video is going to be another rewind. I'm really trying to pummel through the rewinds, trying to get like two of those done a week so that we can catch up. <laughs> Getting there. So thank you so much for joining me. Until next time, be good and look after yourself and I'll see you later.